Hey guys, Don't welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Last time we confronted Theos, I think it was. As I think it was him anyway. And then he like sent out his dudes at us. Well, let's speed this up. And, well, we killed them all. Oh, what did the music, what did the screen just stop? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so I think the next thing we gotta do is go tell Lady Webb, I guess. She's on the outside, so can't be that far to go, can it? That's the map. Oh, okay, they're all gonna be honest. Nice. Not what we need. You know what? Can we just. Just just stop. Everybody just stop. Alright, so if we bring. Flesh construct. Get that. Alright, no, we don't need to. Knock it down. Get that one down. Once we get that one down, there we go. Now we can knock it down. Everybody. Everybody on there. Okay. The two took a bit of a few, a few hits. Everybody on this dude. Yeah. Right, so a bit longer to take down. Man, we gotta watch out for these guys. They're all activated now. Holy shit! Come on, guys. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Got it? Nice. All right. Just flesh. Ugh, nasty stuff. As you say. Do we just go through the front door? I'm sure there's loads of them in there, but fuck it. Uh oh, what the hell? Ooh, vessel, I don't like the sound of that. Maybe we should go see this guy. Let's go see this guy, see what happens. Right, can we have Matilda up front? Yeah, she's up front. Good. Holy shit. Oh, that was that over there, that's okay. Alright, not too bad so far. Can we go through here? What's this guy saying? Is he gonna attack us? No. Let's see what he's saying. What have you done? I don't have time for this. No, oh, well that didn't work out very well, did it? Damn it. Uh okay. Out we go. Matilda friend, as always. Just go through this door. Please don't have any baddies. Oh, oh god, they're gonna. I shall be discreet. You reckon? Reckon we can sneak Following your lead. Sneaky sneaky. Don't you do it, Sloth. Don't you attract any attention, you son of a bitch. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, the screams. Oh, woo. That's will be a I'm getting out of here. It's not safe anymore. Who's that? Who said that? Oh, it's just a patient. Okay, that's fine. Now let's get the... Let's go. Hello. wonder what's going on upstairs. Hello? I bet they're all gone crazy. Let's see. All right, what's going on here? Nothing. That guy, is he on my side? Yeah, he's a guard, that's cool. Let's speak to this dude. Whoa! What the blaze has happened out there? You were given permission to ask questions. Everything's under control until I killed the leaden key spy, at which point he possessed a flesh construct. It's complicated, complicated. a patient of yours. This scrim was with the leaden key, only without knowing it. Azo was being influenced by a patient, but the patient really wasn't himself at the time. Hmm. Yeah, let's just say it's complicated. I have read accounts of people in history who could do what you describe. The accounts are few and brief and never reliable. Some go as far as to suggest that they are all the same person. If truly such a person was here among us plotting my ruin, would that, would that I had a no, had a body again, I could be of some real use in our time of need. I fear what the future may hold for this place. I am grateful you were able to dispatch the threat before there was a loss of innocent life. We very nearly had another scandal on our hands. What of Azo? What part did his experiments play in this catastrophe? He's trying to trying to help the patients. The Lenkey took advantage of him. I think he would have found a way to interfere with Sanitarium with, even without him. If I hadn't come, come along, as it would have eventually resulted in another scandal. Hmm. I didn't really read much on that, did I? It's probably best he didn't do that. At the worst possible time, say no more. Cadman as always, no longer welcome at this facility. Boom. Alright. Hey, there's a fierce brother again. 
What's this guy? They shall see nothing while I see much. Oh, there's just people we can reach out to. Okay, let's go see Lady Web. See what she's got to say for herself. Okay, Red Lady Web. Bet this. I bet this. How fair is your search? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. There's something I could tell you about the linen key operations. Well, let's hear it. Hard fails in Brackenby Sanitarium, impersonating a patient. He was trying to damage the public's opinion of animancy. Forgive me, it is unlike Theos to leave witnesses. He must be furious. He did not aid you as you'd hoped, I take it? Well, take heart. With any luck, when he has finished his business, he will surely come and find you again, if only to kill you while you sleep. What a bastard. This news of yours makes sense, of course. To dabble in animancy is to puzzle over the secrets of the gods. This would not be the Leaden Key's first action against it. But if this is connected to their other activities, we may be in for something on a much larger scale. Holy shit. The Leaden Key's ah, conspiracy nice. is clear now. They have used Anguithan technology to engineer Widewind's legacy. And they want people to blame Animancy for it. As we speak, the Duke is holding hearings in the palace. He is listening to arguments for and against Animancy. Animancy. When they finish, he is expected to decide whether to outlaw it. It seems the Leaden Key has been pushing Deerwood down this path for some time. Boom. I, for one, would enjoy seeing their little scheme fouled up at the last moment. Our Duke must hear what you have to say. Unfortunately, the hearings are closed to the public, which makes the Duke inaccessible until they are completed. Didn't she have some kind of, like, influence over this kind of stuff? However, certain groups have been invited to attend. You might get in with one of them if you aren't above a little pandering. There are delegations from the Knights of the Crucible, the Dozens, and from House Dominell. If you can gain the support of one of those groups, that may be your best way in. See what you can arrange. Pretty sure I've got some tasks for the Knights of the Crucible. We'll have a look. I want to discuss the animator hearings at the palace. What of them? Wouldn't they allow a guest of Dunro to be into the hearings? We would only do that as a last resort. Walking in with one of the three invited groups puts you in a position of influence. Walking in alone as a representative of Dunreed Row would earn you distrust among all the rest. It seems our organization has a reputation for nosiness and manipulation for whatever reason. Nosiness, definitely. It would be best if people did not see Dunreed Rose hand in this. Easier for them to embrace the truth. What is it there uh, to know about the Duke? Avar is many Avar. things to many people, and that is why he sits the throne. To the frontiersmen, he is one of their own. To the patriotic, he is a sole descendant of Admeth Hadrit. To the nobility, he is from an old and established family. All of these are half-truths or exaggerations. A tale he has spun around himself. Ah, oh, man, that means it's just a fool. The man behind the tale may not be the greatest mind in Deerwood, but he knows people. He knows when they are sincere and when they lie. He knows when they are strong and when they are weak. The other matters he leaves to me. Outwardly, he prefers to come off a bit of a simpleton. Don't be fooled. Before he was a duke, he was a trapper, and an excellent one at that. All right. All right. So what's that done? Is that, oh, still got that. So good again, invite. <clears throat> Need to get a sponsor. So it's good with the Knights of the crucible was it? Which one was it? I had it. Uh... Nope. Nope. We could talk to the uh, grieving mother at some point. Apparently, we need to figure out what's wrong with her. I don't know. Here we go. Shortages of trained soldiers. So we got to go to 
Meet Vanya, a student of Animacy. She's compiled the research that should enable Dunstan to finish. Nice, clever. Said that she lives in a dormitory with the other Scriven Scriveners, but his novelties haven't been able to find her lately. Where the hell's that? I have no idea. Lives in the dormitory. The dormitory. All right. Let's go find out where the dormitory is. I'll grant you that Animancy has had its failures, Balreach among them. But does that warrant attacks on innocent practitioners? Superstitious kith have spilled their share of blood. That's no com that's no comparison. Animancers have the advantage of education, and with that comes authority and responsibility. I have to say, it's wonderful to have someone to debate with. You'd think they'd be more welcoming of it at the law call. Or we could enjoy a glass of wine and a comfortable silence. Oh shit you do. Keep it down by there. We're trying to find this goddamn dormitory. Okay, so we found the dormitory. This is this place, I believe. Uh the scavengers dormitory. Excellent. But also, uh hedge was completed. Hedge maze completed. So I think next thing I'm gonna go for is 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 is, is self wall. Let's go with a Start building some walls because we keep getting invaded, so we got shitloads of money. Holy crap! Now we're finished in four days. Nice. All right, here we go. Who we're we looking for again? I can't remember her name now. Built to last, Vin Vinana, Vienna. All right. What does this say? Matilda has enough experience to what the hell? Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. What does she need? Is this what she needs? Athletics. Sure. Uh, characters with the blaze can use second wind ability to recover lost endurance. A higher flow score increases the effect of second wind. Yes, that is what we need. Boom. One of those. And oh, mechanics. Does that help? No, I shouldn't really need that. Let's go with stealth. That'll just help out a little bit. Ah, oh, man. I forgot we got to list, beat all this. Alright, we'll figure out what we're going to do and then we'll come back. Okay. We're gonna go with Into the Fray. It's either Into the Fray or Unbending, which uh, you can only use free per rest, so we'd have to wait for a rest. Uh, use a 5% of damage taken converted to healing, which would have been fucking awesome. Into the Fray does uh, lunges into battle, and it does piercing damage, pull accuracy. Don't even know what that is, but uh, if successful, they get dazed, which is fucking awesome. So, and we can do two per encounter, so we can actually do that twice. And it interrupts them as well. That's good. It's kind of like a charge in World of Warcraft with the water. Boom. That's what we got. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice. Gotta level up. You know what we haven't done yet? Quick save. Holy shit. That would have been that would have been bad if we'd if we'd lost that. Okay. Vienna or whatever her name is. Vienna. Right. Who's that? Corin. Can we? Ah, uh, lots of stealing. Let's see. Ah. Uh, oh, that's locked, but it's still locked. God damn it. All right, Corrin, we're talking to you. How do you do? By Will's eyeless face, you one, you are one short ogre, but why are you green, and how are you getting the ducks to keep flying around you like that? Holy shit, this guy is stoned. So, <laughs> let me guess, you smote a lot of white leaf. <laughs> that's what you call it. Or did you get your hands on some snowcap? I am not an ogre. Yeah. Snowcap, snowcap. So few people know Snowcap, much less ogres. He beams at you and nods his head. <laughs> okay. I'm looking for Vienna. I like Vienna. She's always talking about metal men. Which is strange, since I'm pretty sure she doesn't eat Snowcap. I don't talk about metal men either, and I do eat Snowcap. Huh? Okay, that helps. Anyway, she's not here right now. Flew away to Andrea's gift to meet her friend. Bess Bessia, no... Kles Klesia, yes, Klesia, Klesia, is the friend she's gone to meet, in Audia's gift, in a house, not a boat, North House, empty house. <laughs> Audia's gifts have lots of boats, we should go rowing sometime. Ah, Corin, wow, we've just met and you invite me on a row, it's a bit romantic, but uh, I'll think about it. Alright, we're going to head over to there, uh, okay, we didn't have to do much there, just talk with a stoner, God, they help out. Okay. Here we go. You've been on your own for five years. 
I've had Ijamak. But you can't talk to him. My standards changed around year two. Okay. <laughs> Random. Once we come back, they like to talk when we get to this. So, abandoned house, north house. That's a north house. That's a north house. That's Otter's house. And then you've got Gulflux's house. What the fuck? Durand Pissian has arrived seeking employment. What? What? Who wants employment? Uh, Patrick Booth have a job among the kind wayfarers and. What the fuck is this? Is that, the, is that what we just did? No, we need to be there. Jeremy Pearson has arrived seeking employment. Do we have to go. A sign? What's this? The event of the member order dies, not to cause his custody of paladins for a dangerous place. Okay, when the elder paladin died, his brothers and sisters are but never reached the destination, which so clearly blah, blah blah blah. The order has reached out for assistance in recovering their comrades, helping see them to their resting place. No companions. Alright, so we have to leave somebody there. But in terms of this other dude, I'm guessing we have to. I guess we have to go and. Uh, whoops. We have to be at the actual uh, place. Alright, never mind. We continue! Let's go to this house first. First one on the list. Uh, and what the hell did they would. Why has this place got misty all of a sudden? Uh, okay. This abandoned house. Alright. Just a bunch of, like, crackheads. Oh, I was right. They are crackheads. Ha! Ah, oh, how can you steal off a crack? What's this guy say? Uh, you don't know. This is our place. And I could really use a pinch. Holy shit. What's this guy doing? Oh, can't read. The man... Where where where's a weird expression trembling from head to toe, continually licking well, rubs his hand. Okay. Can't be this place then. God man, we just into the crack house. Is this the end you're going to like do some crack or something? Crazy woman. Alright, this is the other abandoned house. Up we go. Whoa. Look at the statue. It's crazy. Oh yeah, that's it. Let's check the Yeah. Oh, there it is, look at it. We can do it. That'll be amazing. Nice. Okay. Uh abandoned house. Alright. This looks a little bit more promising, maybe? What's this barrel? Can we... We can take from the barrel. God damn it. That is... Four! I thought we could only have three. Is that right? Can we not add this area? I don't know. Right away. All right, sneak around. Quickly and quiet. This place seems too quiet for my liking. Open the door. Quick save it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's full of weapons. Seems a bit better than where we were at. What's this? Go take from there, Matilda. Oh, money. That's what we need. Alright, back out, back out. Everyone let it through. Big double doors. Uh oh. Shit. What the fuck is that thing? As you enter the room, you see several hooded together. They stand at attention, armed, but not in matched gear like the Crucible Knight. At the center of the group, one woman looms over another, holding a flail. She snarls at the cowering figure. You've got pages of research here. You expect me to believe that this was... This was just your scratch work. It's nothing, I promise. Just my notes. Your painful smack as the one backhands her captive. We know you were meeting with the Crucible Knights. You think we they're the only ones with power in the city? They call us the dozens for for a reason. Now, I won't ask you again. Oh, wait, is this a wound? I probably got the, the accent wrong, but... Uh, at a nudge from one of the men, the woman turns and sees you watching her eyes now. You shouldn't be here. Man, let it go and we'll pretend we never saw this. Leave her alone. What's going on? This ends now. I do like going in with this ends now, but I don't know who these guys are. So let's just go. We'll pretend we never saw this for now. I mean, do we? You, you don't want to rush into these things. And if they don't, then we'll just knock them out. It's too late for that. Okay. Straight into a fight. Just like we, <laughs> just like we wanted. We gotta get the grieving mother out of there. Gotta get Matilda in there. Okay. Oh shit. Let's see, can we do this? What's, what we got here? Mercenary, mercenary, mercenary. And some kind of antelope. Okay. Your thoughts. Go forth! Alright, here we go. Explode. There we go. Now, oh shit, I should have got them to goddamn. Boom. 
That's what we need. And we need some oil on there as well, like just about there. Oh, that didn't work. God damn it. Tumac, what are you doing? Get on the mercenary. Grieve him over. Yeah, you can get on there as well. Okay. You need to knock down. Knock down, knock down this guy. And... Yeah, start with that. Oh, Connor, you son of a bitch. Start shooting this guy. Oh, feels he's got some he's got some work to do. There we go. Come on, guys. Oh, these guys are going down like a sack of shit. Nice. Uh Right, she's getting attacked. We don't want that. You attack that, Matilda. Once again, going with that. Good times. Theo. Why is this guy oh it's that? Uh, you know what, Theo? Don't do that on your own, actually. We'll, uh... We'll finish this guy off. Theo, just attack him. Lava. Oh, Lava. I know why. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Did you just... Did they just lure out it? Alright, she's on the move. Mark a defer. Uh, you can't do any more of those. Uh, do you need to use this, really? No, just do that. Just attack. All on the attack. Get in there. Nice. And Iktumak, you go for that one. Is that good? Can you buy one of the attack? Blammo. Nice. What's you on? Two. Get the knockdown on. Kana. Go for the attack. Alright, so we got those two there, those two there. Grieving Mother. Attack. And yeah. Alright, that's good. Uh, feel might as well use that. And slough, go for that. Blammo. Nice, guys. Ah, oh, that's what I like to see. Whoa. Vienna's face is covered in bruises and her eyes are wide with shock and relief. I, I don't know who you are, but f thank you. Rapid hitching breaths punctured her words. I w was sure they were going to kill me. She wipes a tear from her cheek, wincing as her knuckle grazes a bruise. Party gained, 558 in experience. Way! That's what we like. Uh, okay. Let's figure out what just happened here. I thought I was coming here to meet my, uh, friend. Oh, you drug dealer. I see how it is. Uh, we saw your dormitory, and then we saw the other abandoned house you're in, so... We're just putting, we're just putting the clues together here. From the Republics, it looks like I walked into a trap. The dozens must have been watching me for a while. I had been working on a special project for the Crucible Knights and they weren't exactly subtle about contacting me. Uh, about this project. It deals with a rather brand, a rare branch of animacy. No offense, but I probably shouldn't get too specific without Commander Clevier's permission. He commissioned it after all. She laughs nosy. <laughs> and you can see the trouble a little indecision. In this in direction? Indiscretion. There we go. Got there in the end. Jesus. That's got me into. Uh, okay. Don't be about yourself. I stood the element. See, back in Ozia. Back in the Valalian Vel Republics. I came to the Divine Bay. Blah, blah, blah. Lots of shit. Yep, we don't care about you, really. Alright, let's get out of here. Commander Cleaver of the Crucible Knights is waiting on my research. Not that you haven't already done a lot for me, but maybe you could take it to him? I'd keep it with me to prevent it from falling into the wrong hands, but you can see how well that worked out. She took it. She nods at Darwal's corpse. She took it from me when I arrived. She takes a deep breath. Anyhow, don't wait on me. I can make my own way out of here. Yeah, you're gonna shoot up probably. Goddamn, these druggies. Alright, what we got here? Oh, God, that is going to... <coughs> Matilda, there we go. That can... I'll go, what's that, 12, 16, we'll put that there just in case that's good. Unique heavy armor, Matilda again, nice. Don't need that. Hats, don't do anything as always. And the moolah and the notes. All right, rest of it in the stash. Boom. Okay. Right, we're going to leave it there for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button, leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you think. And if this is your first time here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join us. Until next time, guys. See ya.